Oh, hey, come in. Hey, RJ. RJ. Um, thanks for coming by. Yeah, of course. What's going on? What's, What's going on? on? What's up? I just want to check in. I've been concerned about you. Nice of you to reach out, man. I appreciate the concern. I do. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you doing okay. I mean, this is um, this is a lot to sort through. Especially for him. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I guess I've just been trying to wrap my head around everything when it did. Oh, no, I mean, me too. I mean, as, as her cousin, I mean, I, I get it. And look, we may never be able to fully process the harm Luna caused. It's just two men are dead. You know, and I'd feel... It's just Steffi could have been one of them. Thank God she wasn't. Honestly, I, I really, I, I appreciate you. We all owe you for that. I'm just glad I was able to get there on time. You need to go visit Luna and ask so there's questions. nothing I wouldn't do to keep Steph and the kids safe. Taylor, we've been over this. Yeah, and I just don't want to repeat of the same behavior. It was very hurtful to my daughter. Okay, okay. well, Hope is remorseful. She feels and terrible. She expressed that to Steffi and to Finn. It won't happen again. It better not. It oh, won't. Shut up, Taylor. Sure. Oh, my God. I would love to believe this you, Brooke, woman. but I'm not convinced that she's learned anything. She knows what she did She was needed grounded, wrong. Taylor. She needed to so. give her a whipping. But is that enough to keep her from doing it again? What do you suggest, doctor? I'm still annoyed how you figured need to stop with like, the How did you put the pieces together and knew exactly where she was? I just... I couldn't shake the feeling that Steffi needed me. I was not connected to you too, well, that's for sure. Yeah. I've never had a bond like this with anyone before. I mean, it's indescribable. The love that I have for your sister, I mean, I'd move mountains for her. I hope I find something like that someday. <laughs> you will, okay? <laughs> you're, you're a good guy, and uh, you'll find someone who deserves you. Yeah, I'm just going to be alone, and I'm just going to have family and work, and that's it. Yeah, you... Um, you are in an interesting position, aren't you? Mm. Well, you're brother to Hope and to Steph. I mean, you're half Logan, half Forrester. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's a curse. <laughs> Don't envy you. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It's just, oh, Rocky, I can't tell you how rough it gets at work when they don't get along. And then that... Well, Steffi had the opportunity to discontinue Hope's line today, and she didn't, so that's a good thing. That is true. That was... That was really good news. So it was maybe that's a sign of better news. Oh, yeah. and Steffi, they're both incredible women, and I have to believe that one day they will get past their differences and see that they have more in common than they realize. Hope is tied. Steffi won't. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Poor Taylor. I'll see you. I'll see you. Finn is my husband, and you put your lips on him. Don't ever do something like that again. Look at these two all close. You surprised me. Me too. I thought you were going to cut Hope's line. I considered it. She knows that I support her. I'm on board. Under one condition. Hope stays away from my husband. Ridge, this is how you run a business? And Taylor smiles, of course. Yeah, any idea how long it'll take? It shouldn't be too long. I'll bring you right out when it's ready. Awesome. Thank you, Alexis. Of course. I'm going to come here and eat. Hope. Hey. Hey, uh, I was just looking for my dad. Oh, you know, I, um, I haven't seen him. I'm just here picking up some takeout. Nice. <laughs> um, and I know what you're thinking. What about Sheila? <laughs> oh, my mind. Don't worry, okay? I called ahead and made sure she's not working today. Smart. I was actually just with your little brother. Just been out. Just been out. sure he's doing all right after the whole, um, you know, situation. Thank you. I know that situation has been really tough on RJ. I think he's, I think he's, he's all right. right. He seems to have the right attitude about the whole thing. Hey, how about the meeting? All right? Ended up turning all right. Uh -huh. Yeah, tell him about the little afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I figured he'd be more excited. You okay, Hope? Tell him, Hope. He needs to know. He don't get away with that. Just ran into him Something's at the restaurant. Better. That's her dad's restaurant. I'm surprised because the meeting went well. I'm, I'm very appreciative of that. So then what, what, what is it? Like, what's the problem? So don't ever think about crossing the line with my husband again. Or your hope for the future is gone. Uh, I just, I think it's best for both of us. If we don't 
spend time together. What the heck is the kiss you laid on me? I still don't understand why you did that. I know there's major tension between my wife and you, but was that... What was that? Like your way of lashing out at Steffi? Just some kind of payback? I, I, who knows? All I know is that I care about you. I care about you probably too much, so. Yeah, well, and I care about you. And maybe this is wishful thinking, but what I want is for you two to just get along. Appreciate each other. The amazing people you are. I just, I wish for a second you both could see what I see. Two strong, accomplished, beautiful women. It's not savvy, that, Ben. Ben? Oh, nice. There you go. It's, it's not, um, it's not all for me. <laughs> I was going to say. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm buying lunches for the nurses at work, so. Oh, well, that's, that's really sweet of you. Okay, um, better get going. Look, I wish you the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anything he would have went right oh to Steffi, and she would have canceled the line. I feel another headache coming. Just know that I will always be here for you.